Hello there guys and welcome to your 7 Java GUI programming tutorial. As I mentioned in the previous tutorial, in the tutorial we're gonna go over the J Radio button. Alright, so let's go ahead and go ahead and open your that Java file and let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't have make sure you have all the code you see here written and then go ahead and pause the video and write that and then let's go ahead and resume. So First, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and type the code, and then after all, um, after we're done, we're gonna go over it and explain it. All right. First, let's go ahead and create our J frame. So, J frame. I'm gonna call it frame equals new J frame. Now that we have our frame, we're gonna type frame that set. I'm gonna set the title. I'm gonna set the title to. I'm gonna set mine to tutorial seven. Uh, tutorial seven, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set the size. I'm gonna set the size. To, I'm gonna set it 200 by um 100. Go ahead and I'm gonna set the location also. Set location relative to null. This will center the window. In the center of your screen. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and type frame. I'm gonna set the default operation and then J frame. This is all all stuff the from our, this all from our previous tutorial. So, uh, so now that we have all this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and declare my J panel. I'm gonna call it panel. I'm gonna set this equal to the well, we have set equal to the J panel. Now that we have our panel, let's go ahead and create our J radio button. I'm gonna call first one. My first button is gonna be called YouTube. That's equal to a new J radio button. And hmm. I'm going to type YouTube and I'm going to set there's something wrong here. I hope I misspelled this. So I'm going to set the text here to say YouTube. Alright. Let me have an, uh, let me create another J Radio button. This time I'm gonna call this one. Let's call it Yahoo. And then let's set that equal to a new J Radio button. All right. We're gonna do the same thing here. Uh, let's go up here and let's go ahead and type Yahoo. That's a text. And I'm gonna well let's, let's say Yahoo. All right. Next we're gonna have to type. Oops, something. Here we go. Let's type bot group uh, and let's set this to group and then set it equal to a new bot group. And then we're gonna type group that add. Let's go ahead and add YouTube and also let's go ahead and add yahoo all right next all we want to do is let's go ahead and type panel and we want to add that to the panel our buttons to the panel so we're going to type yahoo or youtube and then yahoo Let's go ahead and type frame that get content pane and let's go ahead the panel go, we're gonna go ahead and add our panel to the frame. So I'm gonna type panel and finally let's set the frame visible so we can actually see what we did. Let's go ahead uh, set visible and let's say make this true. Alright, so let's go ahead over our code. This is from our previous story up here. We created our J frame initialize it we set our title to tutorial 7 
we set our size x and y we set our location relative to all basically the window will appear in the center of your screen and then we set the default operation on close so when the user hits the x button it will close we declared our panel here our radio button one we call it youtube and the other one we call it yahoo and we set the text to be youtube for the first button and yahoo for the second one and then we here we're, we're grouping the buttons together and then down here we're adding the buttons to the panel basically it's self-explanatory we add not buttons to the panel then down here we're adding the panel and um, the panel to the frame and then finally we're setting it all visible so let's go ahead and build this and hopefully we don't have any errors all right so here we go we see our title the size we set and the two radio buttons the whole thing with radio buttons is that you can only select one thing at a time so if i select youtube and I hit on Yahoo here, the YouTube should be deselected, and that, that happens. And our next tutorial, we're gonna talk about the check, uh, the the check box, uh, the check box. So, and we're gonna move on from there. So, please, guys, if you have any tutorials in particular in in mind that you want me to go over, please let me know. Leave comments or send me a message. And please subscribe, guys, and check out all my other videos. And thank you for watching this video. So, please subscribe. Thank you.